Hi, boys and girls. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a great weekend. The title of our book today is Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. Enjoy. Dear people at Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfi. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Dear Arfi, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search. The Honeywells. Dear butcher lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dry giblets and good luck finding a home. Dear Fire Station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street, and yours is the shiniest. Arfie. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not gonna lie. You're my next to last choice, but these past few days have been rough, 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 rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arthi. Dear Mutt, get lost. Poor Arthi. Dear last house on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky, just lonely. Arfi. Return to sender, nobody at this address. This is my favorite part. Dear Arfi, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the blue, big blue mailbox. Will he show up? I don't know. What do you think? Yay! <laughs> D 
Dear Mincy, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof. And that's the end of the story, but I'd like to read you this little note at the end from Arfie. Here's how you can help a homeless animal. Adopt a shelter animal instead of buying a pet. Volunteer at a shelter or a pet adoption event. Spay or neuter your pet so there will be fewer fur babies to find a home for. Donate to your local animal shelter or a national animal advocacy group, such as American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, ASPCA.org, or the Humane Society, humanesociety.org. Extend a helpful paw so all our animal friends can find forever homes. Archie. Here's the illustration at the end of the book of Butternut Street. Cute little story. All right, boys and girls, have a great rest of your weekend. I enjoyed reading this book to you. It's one of my favorite stories. I hope it's one of yours now, too. All right, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.